Hi, this is Marcy with your Moon Phases Invisible Planets for July 2025. Please hit like, subscribe, and share so you don't miss upcoming events in the night sky. The first quarter moon falls on July 2nd. First quarter moons rise around noon and set at midnight. Look for it high overhead as darkness falls. The moon is farthest from Earth on July 5th. There's two visible planets in the evening sky in early July. Mercury will be at its greatest distance from the evening sun on July 3rd and will shine in the western evening twilight. And red Mars is higher in the sky and will set before midnight. And in the morning sky the first few weeks of July you'll find brilliant Venus and bright Saturn. The full buck moon lights up the night sky all night overnight on July 10th. It's named the buck moon to coincide with the antlers of male deer bucks that are in full growth mode now. The full buck moon will lie near the teapot of Sagittarius. Then before sunrise on July 15th and 16th, look for the moon near Saturn. By mid-July, Jupiter is ascending in the morning sky, joining Venus and Saturn. If you like observing challenges and have some optical aid, you might spot the planets Uranus and Neptune near the brighter planets in the morning sky. And since Mercury has slipped away from the evening sky by mid-month, Mars is the only planet visible after darkness falls. The last quarter moon is on July 18th. Last quarter moons rise around midnight and set at noon. Can you spot it high in the sky after sunrise? The moon's closest point to the Earth for this month is on July 20th. On the morning of July 20th, the waning crescent moon occults or passes in front of the Pleiades star cluster. Here's a binocular view of the moon slowly blotting out the stars of the Pleiades. In completing the scene, you'll find brilliant Venus, orangish Aldebaran, and the Hyades star cluster nearby. Then before slipping out of the morning sky, the slender waning crescent moon will first pair up with Venus on July 22nd and float close to Jupiter on July 23rd. We'll have the darkest skies for stargazing on the nights around the new moon on July 24th. And it's a great time to watch for the Delta Acquired Meteor Shower that rambles across the sky for weeks around the new moon. Then after darkness falls on July 28th, look for the waxing crescent moon near Mars. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share so you won't miss our next video.